Hello, welcome to my review of The Last Days of American Crime. Um, I saw the trailer for this movie and I look forward to watch it because I am a big fan of heist movie, okay? And this is the non-spoiler portion of my review. I hate to say it, but it's not a good movie. I was disappointed if I had to give a grade, maybe, maybe a 5 out of 10, okay? Um, so now you know my rating. I will go on to talk spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, perhaps skip it. <laughs> this portion of the review, that is. I love heist movie, but this one disappointed me. Usually on Netflix, if it is not a good movie, I usually don't watch the whole thing. I might give up after 30 minutes or 15 minutes, depending on how bad the movie can be. But this one, I stuck around. I stuck around because I love heist movies so much that I want to see the ending. Whew. What's the problem with this movie? First up, the characters. Not a heck of a lot of likable characters in this movie. Good guys or bad guys didn't really care for any of them. The acting, not bad, except for the bad guys, okay? It's not good as far as the good guys, if you can call the characters good, but as far as the bad guys, over the top, way over the top for me. Um, and as far as the action, some of the actions are okay, but for the most part, it is subpar for me. This is nowhere near, you know, John Wick kind of good action. So it was a disappointment for me as far as the action. The story, the script is where the biggest problem lies, okay? Lots of plot holes, a lot of things that are not important. This is two hour plus. Yeah, it didn't need to be. Sure, if certain things was included, it could have improved the story. And if certain things was excluded, it would have improved the story. Like the cop, okay? That whole scenes where the two druggy get into the police station and then the cop had to kill one of them. And then the whole scene with him going home and sit down and watch TV and all that stuff. Was that even necessary? What was the point of all of that, right? And on top of that, after he shot the one guy, the, the accomplice, the girl, what happened to her? She just conveniently left out of the story. There's a lot of little things like that that just like, plot holes and things that I just conveniently skip over just to move on to the next scene. Didn't care for that kind of storytelling or lack thereof. Um, and that the height itself was disappointing. The car, the car scenes where the car back into the elevator. Are you serious? with all the cops standing around with gun blazing. Huh? That action sequence was very poor. And then inside the boat, all that stuff. Oh my, seriously? It was that easy to get everything done for that billion dollars? And then, of course, the flip at the end. Am I the only one that can't believe that he survived the blast to his gut long enough for the big car, the truck chase at the end? Now, if the Canadian government put up barricades and gun blazing trying to shoot and stop the truck from entering, you're telling me that after it crashed through the barrier uh, asylum? And really, how convenient was it that the younger sister is free to join her older sister in Canada after the FBI that got her captive was gunned down? She just 
conveniently let go you know you know where wow yeah yeah i sat through it but there is zero chance that i will watch this movie again and that's my review bye bye